look at that hair. Oh my goodness. He just had a bath yes, last weekend, and then I didn't do his video. But, and I waited to cut it, because he's gonna get a butt cut, till we did this video and I introduced him to everyone. This is Squire. Hi, Squire. Don't you want to eat a snack? Come on. I know everyone, every guinea pig loves this. Okay, cookies. Cookies. Got loads of cookies, buddy. Here. Squire is one of the NorCal males that were rescued about, ooh, maybe it's already two years ago, a year and a half ago from a home in North California, all the way up in Eureka. And that is the second time I had to go into that particular home and rescue a whole bunch of guinea pigs. I believe I took home maybe 300 males that day. Yeah, that was you. And the very first rescue I did from that area, from that group was Oh, I'm so bad in numbers, but it was something like the total guinea pigs on the property were 729, I believe. And 729, and I only took the females. I could not have all the males. So the males stayed there um, for another year and a half. And then, ugh, sadly, what happened is that the gentleman discovered YouTube and started doing YouTube videos featuring all his guinea pigs but he still continued breeding because the first group I took of him were all his females and that eventually after they were done having birth we had over 1200 guinea pigs or so now that took us three years and a lot of money a lot of work to help these animals and then to find out that he was still at it, creating more guinea pigs, that was actually, it was an embarrassment as well for me personally, because if I go in and take a big group, I need it to be done. I am not gonna go back for a second time because then I am enabling. So it was really, really tough for me <clears throat> to have to go back, but the police department called me and and i was still well aware that the males i was not able to get out were still there living miserably um no other rescue had stepped up in that time to take these these guys i mean it's not easy to take just a group of 250 or so male guinea pigs um anyway they called me and this was the chance to get everybody but this time for good absolutely single every single guinea pig on the property so there's some videos actually of you know the first days when we got them and the health checks we gave them you might probably see squire there as well hi squire now what's funny is a oh, funny interesting there were a lot of pure breed long hairs amongst that um group i'm sorry you don't like me touching your hair i'm sorry i can't help it it's so pretty it is so pretty oh you can see actually here it's very rainy <laughs> Oh, look at that. That's a big eagle. Nice. Um, but you're safe. Yeah, you're with me. You're safe. Now, a lot of the males had completely messed up eyes like this. And that's from fighting. When they fight, they can be and left unchecked, you know, because there were so many males all living together and the resources were scarce. They fight. So a lot of them had one or two eyes completely horribly uh, infected and messed up and blind. And, and then the, also they had a lot of lip skin missing. So they started ending up looking all odd as well. And the lips. And um, hi, sweetie. And he's doing really good. He's an old guy. And most of those are now older guinea pigs. Listen, I brought you so much different stuff. I can't believe I have to get you some grass. Let me get you some grass. Here he is. You're waiting patiently. It took me all of one second. Yeah. Grass. 
Come on. Oh, you can be that shy. He's a little shy, but surely not if you get a whole pile of grass put in front of you. You forget all about that. Um... Okay, so where was I explaining about this big rescue? Oh, uh, yeah, second time I went, there was not only the males, but there were also females, unfortunately. A lot of females that had been having babies. You know, the good thing is that actually none of those females appear to be pregnant. That we all put them on pregnancy watch. None of them had babies, so at least he's doing something right, I suppose. Though on the new videos that were being put out, I could clearly see that there were um, young babies. So, this gentleman also, um, after we took the first batch, and there was some press that we got about that, you know, it's... it's, it's it's not every day that a small guinea pig rescue gets inundated with so many guinea pigs so we had some press on that and uh, so he then started looking into us and found out that we were charging $35 for an adoption fee on a guinea pig and I think he figured that I was somehow that we not me all of us we at the rescue the organization were making tons of money from his guinea pigs <laughs> I mean, I'm, just, I'm just, oh gosh, I mean, this gentleman, um, I, um, I hope he's gonna, he's getting the help he needs. Yeah, I hope he's getting the help he needs. And I'm not upset or mad toward this gentleman. All I can see is the tragedy of the situation for everybody involved, not just the animals. So, anyway, and he's been here for a while. Oh, let me let me see you eat that because they're so cute. When you do that, I just want to see those lips. Yay, grass! Oh, you gotta see that. Good for you. They love those. Good boy. So let's see, he must be about five and a half, six years old now. Six probably, yeah. And he's still going strong. There's a lot of them that have arthritis, really, really bad arthritis. Um, I think some of them may have all breaks in their, in their legs. Um, I don't know where, how they would have sustained those, I don't know. And over the past years, we have managed to adopt some out of the more healthier ones, um, of the more younger ones. So what we are left with now is just a group of older, older, older males that probably have something going on and are just not really that easily adoptable. So I think what we have left here is what we're going to be, you know, um, stuck with no that's a bad word that we are going to have at our sanctuary where they will live out their lives very happily with lots of food and they still live together but a much smaller groups there's two groups much smaller very small compared to what they they were living at it was one huge giant group and it was really survival of the fittest now obviously that doesn't happen here um, they get into a little you know squall squabble here or there but it's it's not like full-on fighting like what they used to go through um, and we make the two groups specifically to keep the the more um, you know, meeker guinea pigs, the ones that were not as strong, separate from, you know, the real kind of the more alpha that would otherwise pick on them and um, they wouldn't really thrive in that, in that area. So we've been really good in observing them all and, and figuring out exactly where they would do good. And then watching them, observing them, if we see one who was, you know, super aggressive, we take them out and take them to the front, maybe get them neutered, find them a friend and get them adopted. So. You know, I think we've done really well, considering, because that was a really tough job. Yeah, and that's, you know, here you are, saying hi to everybody. Yeah.
Look, I just can't get over his beautiful, beautiful hair. Look at that. I know, I'm sorry. I will, I'm gonna cut it. I will cut it. Yeah. So obviously he's, he's blind on this eye. And this eye seems to be just fine. You are a very cute boy. You are a very cute boy. Yeah. Yeah, so that kind of was a story. So if you go to Facebook, sorry, YouTube, you will find there's a bunch of videos actually that we did when we just received all the mails. And there is a video of the health checks we did where we literally probably just did a long video of every mail that came through. You can see their health checks, what we found. Um, it's quite, uh, it's quite an interesting, interesting video. So I would definitely, definitely recommend watching it. And there's some more. There's more follow-up videos on that. It's not just um, one video. There's a bunch. And then, of course, the very first rescue I did with all those pregnant females. There's loads of videos about that as well. If you're interested in watching that, and that was obviously called the NorCal Rescue. But there was a part one and then there was a part two. And then as he was, you know, had videos on YouTube, I was just, I, I tried not to watch them, but it was really hard because I wanted to see how they were doing. And you, I could just tell from, from the video that these animals weren't thriving these males were not doing okay and and that was really rough it was really rough um, knowing that I right now do not have the I, I, I just couldn't go get them at that point I just couldn't and that was really rough and they looked terrible I mean they looked like they were limping the hair was missing I mean they just really looked like a batch of you know um, neglected animals and I remember seeing all lots of um, remember seeing lots of remarks about how oh this is the cutest video ever and and oh my gosh I just love your channel and I wish I just guinea pig heaven and and then I just realized these these people do not, cannot see what I see they don't see what I good boy are you already done with it I don't believe it I don't believe it you're such a good boy yeah you look really handsome and very healthy for your age yes you do anyway he is adoptable if someone wants to adopt him but we do like these guys to go if someone has a lot of guinea pig experience and uh, you know not to a beginner owner because they require just a little bit more knowledge than when you just adopt some two young younger guinea pigs are you done are you done what do you want to do now go home you want to go home baby okay let's go home let's go put him back okay let's go put you back yeah okay there you are buddy you should back home and uh would be wonderful to get some of these boys also neutered i asked dr nan if she was okay with neutering older gentlemen and she said yeah I'm, i should be okay with that um but she can only do so many at a time and her time is very precious she doesn't have a lot of it so we managed to book her for our own piggies or for neuters but like last week she came for neuters she had four on the schedule but then just spend the whole afternoon just looking at our own pigs <laughs> doing x-rays on on the pigs on general care rather than any she just didn't get to it you know there was other stuff more important so 
Anyway, well, thank you, Squire, so we can meet you a little better. Yeah. And I'll go give you a haircut soon, okay? Good boy.